Hi, this is Chad from Zplane Development, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Retune to take loops that have come from different sources and therefore have different keys and tunings and get them to all fit together into one consistent groove. Let's check it out. All right, so this is a new live session here, and uh, I've got some loops loaded up. Yes, I already pre-selected these, so you don't have to wait for me to find loops that work together. Um, but just follow along with me step by step as I build this up. And uh, I'm going to start here with this synth part. This little square synth is playing a little kind of ostinato melody like this. It's just a little part I wrote, and that's the main kind of lead vibe that I want in this uh, track. But now over here I found a nice little kind of bed loop from our friends over at Ubershal, and uh, it sounds like this. Nice and vibey. I like it. It's a good little place to start building on top of. Now check out what happens when I play these two together at the same time. Uh, I'm going to start this bit here, and now we throw in the loop. It's kind of a weird clash right there. It's not too bad, but that second chord, that doesn't fit. And that's because that's in a minor key, but my synthesizer part is in a major key. So we can quickly fix this with retune. I've got Retune loaded up right here, and uh, I happen to know this is all in C-sharp, so I'm going to tell it that it's a C-sharp coming in, uh, but it happens to be minor that's coming in. And what I want is C-sharp major going out, and we should now have that second chord sounding great, like this. Oh yeah. All right, so now that bed fits my melody. Again, as a reminder, that's what it sounded like before. Yeah. All right, so that worked, and you can tell this is really interesting because that bed is a mix. It's got drums, it's got like a piano, some chords all in it, right? If you just solo it. But it's okay, Retune is able to shift the individual pitches within this whole polyphonic multi timbral mix. It's really amazing. Great. Well, let's move on. Let's uh, add maybe this guitar lead uh, loop that I've got here. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh gosh. So out of tune. <laughs> it so doesn't fit at all. <laughs> Well, we can make it fit, of course, with Retune, and I'm going to show you another way to do this. Um, previously, we were detecting the input scale and then telling it the output scale that we wanted to use. But we can also kind of do a brute force approach to this. Um, I know everything is in C-sharp. Um, that's what I want, especially on the output. I want it to be C-sharp major. But what I'm going to do is just set the input to chromatic, meaning that it's going to accept any input pitch coming in and then force all of them to this C sharp major scale that I've set at the bottom. And the result is this. Aha! What was originally sounding crazy, like if I turn this off, yeah, it wasn't fitting at all, now conforms. Great, that was easy. Uh, what about uh, these little guitar riffs right here? I'm gonna stop this one and just listen to this one. Woo! This guitar is our way out. But I happen to know from the name of this that these are in D, and what I wanna do is set D chromatic input but now I'm going to apply a transposition of minus one semitone to bring it down to C sharp major. So we've got D chromatic coming in, but again, C sharp major going out. So those chords should now fit when they play. Bingo. It's even got that cool little 
you know, uh, slide up uh, at the end. All those notes sound perfect. Uh, it's great. And uh, w what about bass? Uh, we haven't added any bass yet, but here's a bass loop. Again, I really liked the rhythm of this one, the feel and the timbre, but those notes are just wrong. So, of course, retune comes to the rescue. Uh, but I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm not gonna just make it conform to the pitch that I want, to the key I want. I'm going to actually take it a little further. I, I want this bass to be lower in register than it currently is. I don't want it to be in the same key. I would like to feel a little more bass. So I'm going to apply some straight up transposition and bring this down four semitones, which is now going to sound like this. Yeah. So now that's in a range that I like. And in order to get this to be a C major output, again, uh, sorry, C sharp major output, I need to change the input until I see C sharp coming up down at the bottom. There we go. Okay, so an F major scale shifted down four semitones will be C sharp major, um, and now I'm gonna also make sure that we've got chromatic coming in to make sure we catch every single possible note that the bass could play and convert it to C sharp major. And now we get this. That's so great. I mean, all these loops now just come together uh, thanks to Retune. But we can take this even a step further. Uh, check this out. Over here in the Arrange view, I've set up these same loops in a little arrangement, which sounds like this. pretty cool, right? But we can start really messing with the bass part, for example, by starting to automate changes to this pitch mapping grid. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start automating this particular note right here, this G, um, and start moving it around as the loop comes around. Um, there's a particular note you'll hear that this, this bassist really hits strong, and uh, it happens to be that G, and I would just like to move it around to add a little bit of variety to this, uh, to this loop as it plays back. So let's engage uh, record and hit play and start playing around. So just like that, when we play that back, we'll now see this matrix moving around. Yeah, so I think you can really see now how powerful Retune can be. Um, you can really get into your arrangements and really start getting meticulous with things, even if you only have audio files to begin with. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of get scared when they have only audio files to deal with, but with Retune, everything becomes totally flexible and malleable to fit within whatever key you're working in. So I hope you learned some new information in this video and maybe found something inspiring in here that you would like to use in your own music. And of course, trying this out in your own music is the best way to learn how Retune works. And you can get the free Retune demo from zplane.de. The plugin comes in VST, AU, and AAX formats and is available for Windows and Mac. And the Mac version is both Intel and M1 compatible. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.